The Balto Slavic languages are a branch of the Indo European family of languages. It traditionally comprises the Baltic and Slavic languages. Baltic and Slavic languages share several linguistic traits not found in any other Indo European branch, which points to a period of common development. Most Indo Europeanists classify Baltic and Slavic languages into a single branch, even though some details of the nature of their relationship remain in dispute in some circles, usually due to political controversies. Some linguists Cortland, Dirksen, however, have suggested that Balto-Slavic should be split into three equidistant groups, Eastern Baltic, Western Baltic which is extinct, and Slavic. A Proto-Balto-Slavic language is reconstructable by the comparative method, descending from Proto-Indo-European by means of well-defined sound laws, and out of which modern Slavic and Baltic languages descended. One particularly innovative dialect separated from the Balto-Slavic dialect continuum and became ancestral to the Proto-Slavic language, from which all Slavic languages descended. Historical dispute The nature of the relationship of the Balto-Slavic languages has been the subject of much discussion from the very beginning of historical Indo-European linguistics as a scientific discipline. A few are more intent on explaining the similarities between the two groups not in terms of a linguistically genetic relationship, but by language contact and dialectal closeness in the Proto-Indo-European period. Baltic and Slavic share many close phonological, lexical, morphosyntactic and accentological similarities listed below. The early Indo-Europeanist August Schleicher proposed a simple solution, from Proto-Indo-European descended Proto-Balto-Slavic, out of which Proto-Baltic and Proto-Slavic emerged. The Latvian linguist Janus Enzelins thought, however, that any similarities among Baltic and Slavic languages resulted from intensive language contact, i.e. that they were not genetically more closely related and that there was no common Proto-Balto-Slavic language. Antoine Maillet 1905, 1908, 1922, 1925, 1934, a French Indo-Europeanist, in reaction to a second simplified theory of Schleicher's, propounded a view according to which all similarities of Baltic and Slavic occurred accidentally, by independent parallel development, and that there was no Proto-Balto-Slavic language. In turn, the Polish linguist Rozdowowski suggests that the similarities among Baltic and Slavic languages are a result of not only genetic relationship, but also of later language contact. Thomas Ollander corroborates the claim of genetic relationship in his research in the field of comparative Balto-Slavic accentology. Even though some linguists still reject a genetic relationship, most scholars accept that Baltic and Slavic languages experienced a period of common development. Beeks 1995, for example, states expressly that t he Baltic and Slavic languages were originally one language and so form one group. Gray and Atkinson's 2003 application of language tree divergence analysis supports a genetic relationship between the Baltic and Slavic languages, dating the split of the family to about 1400 BCE. That this was found using a very different methodology than other studies lends some credence to the links between the two. Modern interpretation The Balto-Slavic languages are most often divided into Baltic and Slavic groups. However, in the 1960s Vladimir Toporov and Vyacheslav Ivanov made the following conclusions about the relationship between the Baltic and Slavic languages, a proto-Slavic language formed from the peripheral type Baltic dialects, b Slavic linguistic type formed later from the Baltic language's structural model, c the Slavic structural model is a result of the Baltic language's structural model transformation. This model is supported by glottochronologic studies by V. V. Cromer, although both of the most recent computer-generated family trees have a Baltic node parallel to the Slavic node. Onomastic evidence shows that Baltic languages were once spoken in much wider territory than the one they cover today, all the way to Moscow, and were later replaced by Slavic. Topic. Historical expansion The sudden expansion of Proto-Slavic in the 6th and the 7th century around 600 CE, uniform Proto-Slavic with no detectable dialectal differentiation was spoken from Thessaloniki in Greece to Novgorod in Russia is according to some connected to the hypothesis that Proto-Slavic was in fact a koine of the Avar state, i.e. the language of the administration and military rule of the Avar Khaganate in Eastern Europe. 
In 626, the Slavs, Persians and Avars jointly attacked the Byzantine Empire and laid siege to Constantinople. In that campaign the Slavs fought under Avar officers. There is an ongoing controversy over whether the Slavs might then have been a military caste under the Khaganate rather than an ethnicity. Their language—at first possibly only one local speech—once coinized, became a lingua franca of the Avar state. This might explain how Proto-Slavic spread to the Balkans and the areas of the Danube basin, and would also explain why the Avars were assimilated so fast, leaving practically no linguistic traces, and that Proto-Slavic was so unusually uniform. However, such a theory fails to explain how Slavic spread to Eastern Europe, an area that had no historical links with the Avar Khanate. That sudden expansion of Proto Slavic erased most of the idioms of the Balto Slavic dialect continuum, which left us today with only two groups Baltic and Slavic, or East Baltic, West Baltic, and Slavic in the minority view. This secession of the Balto Slavic dialect ancestral to Proto Slavic is estimated on archaeological and glottochronological criteria to have occurred sometime in the period 1500 to 1000 BCE. Topic: <laughs> Shared features of the Balto Slavic languages. The degree of relationship of the Baltic and Slavic languages is indicated by a series of common innovations not shared with other Indo-European languages, and by the relative chronology of these innovations which can be established. The Baltic and Slavic languages also share some inherited words. These are either not found at all in other Indo-European languages except when borrowed or are inherited from Proto-Indo-European but have undergone identical changes in meaning when compared to other Indo-European languages. This indicates that the Baltic and Slavic languages share a period of common development, the Proto-Balto-Slavic language. Topic: <laughs> Common sound changes. Winter's law, lengthening of vowels before Proto-Indo-European pi, unaspirated voiced consonants asterisk b, asterisk d, asterisk g. Pi voiced aspirated consonants asterisk b asterisk d asterisk g asterisk merge into the voiced consonants asterisk b asterisk d asterisk g asterisk g This also occurred in several other Indo-European branches but as Winter's law was sensitive to the difference between the two types of consonants the merger must have happened after it and so is a specific Balto-Slavic innovation Hertz law, retraction of the pi accent to the preceding syllable, if that syllable ended in a laryngeal asterisk h, asterisk h, asterisk h, see laryngeal theory. A high vowel is inserted before pi syllabic sonorants asterisk l, asterisk r, asterisk m, asterisk n. This vowel is usually asterisk i giving asterisk il, asterisk ir, asterisk im, asterisk in but in some occasions also asterisk u, asterisk ul, asterisk er, asterisk um, asterisk un. Proto-Germanic is the only other Indo-European language that inserts a high vowel asterisk u in all cases, all others insert mid or low vowels instead. Emergence of a register distinction on long syllables, between acute probably glottalized and circumflex. The acute arose primarily when the syllable ended in a pi-voiced consonant as in Winter's Law or when it ended in a laryngeal. The distinction is reflected in most Balto-Slavic languages, including Proto-Slavic, as an opposition between rising and falling tone on accented syllables. Some Baltic languages directly reflect the acute register in the form of a so-called broken tone. Shortening of vowels before word final asterisk m. Word final asterisk me greater than asterisk m after a long vowel. This followed the preceding change, as the preceding long vowel is retained. Raising of stressed asterisk o to asterisk u in a final syllable. Merging of pi short asterisk o and asterisk a into asterisk a or asterisk o. This change also occurred in several other Indo-European branches, but here too it must have happened after Winter's Law. Winter's Law lengthens asterisk o to asterisk o and asterisk a to asterisk a, and must therefore have occurred before the two sounds merged. It also followed the raising of asterisk o to asterisk u above. It is to be noted that both vowels merge differently in both groups. Baltic languages have a in both cases, but Slavic ones have o. Compare lith osis with old sl os from id. Asterisk a, Latin axis, Greek azon, lith avis, old Slavic ovcha from id. Asterisk o, Latin ovis, Greek ois. 
The Indo-European long vowels asterisko and asterisk o merged only in the Slavic group, and later only in Old Prussian. Common Balto-Slavic innovations include several other changes, which are also shared by several other Indo-European branches. These are therefore not direct evidence for the existence of a common Balto-Slavic family, but they do corroborate it. Satimization, the pi palatovalar consonants asterisk k, asterisk g, asterisk become palatal sibilants asterisk s, asterisk z, asterisk z, while the pi labiovalar consonants asterisk k, asterisk g, asterisk g lose their labialization and merge with the plain velar asterisk k, asterisk g, asterisk g. The palatal sibilants later become plain sibilants asterisk s, asterisk z in all Balto Slavic languages except Lithuanian. Ruki sound law, asterisk s becomes asterisk s when preceded by asterisk r, asterisk u, asterisk k or asterisk i. In Slavic, this asterisk s later becomes asterisk x variously spelled ch, h or h in the Slavic languages when followed by a back vowel. Topic. Common grammatical innovations Replacement of the original pi genitive singular ending of thematic o stem nouns, which is reconstructed as asterisk osio, with the ablative ending asterisk ad proto Slavic asterisk v, lka, Lithuanian vil, ko, Latvian vilka. Old Prussian, however, has another ending, perhaps stemming from the original pi genitive, diwas, gods, tawas, fathers. Use of the ending asterisk and from earlier asterisk ami of the instrumental singular in a stem nouns and adjectives. This contrasts with Sanskrit aya, archaic Vedic a. Lithuanian ranka is ambiguous and could have originated from either ending, but the correspondence with East Lithuanian runku and Latvian ruoku point to Balto Slavic asterisk and. Use of the ending asterisk mis in the instrumental plural, e.g., Lithuanian sunumis, Old Church Slavonic sin, mi with sons. This ending is also found in Germanic, while the other Indo-European languages have an ending with b, as in Sanskrit bhis. Creation of a distinction between definite meaning similar to the and indefinite adjectives meaning similar to a. The definite forms were formed by attaching the corresponding form of the relative, demonstrative pronoun asterisk jas to the end of the adjective. For example, Lithuanian Jerasis the good as opposed to Jeras good old church Slavonic DOBR J the good as opposed to DOBR good These forms in Lithuanian however seem to have developed after the split since in older Lithuanian literature 16th century and onwards they had not yet merged e.g. Nojam Jame in the new one from asterisk Nojaman plus asterisk Jaman in Lithuanian, the pronoun merged with the adjective having a modern secondary pronominal inflection, in Slavic, the pronoun merged with an adjective, having an ancient primary nominal inflection. Usage of the genitive case for the direct object of a negative verb. For example, Russian nigi, a ne sidl lith, negos neskaisio I haven't read the book. Topic. Shared vocabulary Some examples of words shared among most or all Balto-Slavic languages Asterisk Lady P tilia, Linden Tree, Lithuanian Liepa, Old Prussian Lipa, Latvian Liepa, Latgalian Lipa, Common Slavic Asterisk Lipa Old Church Slavonic Lipa, Russian Lipa, Polish Lipa, Czech Lipa Asterisk Rank Hand, Lithuanian Ranka, Old Prussian Rankin ACC, SG, Latvian Ruoka, Latgalian Ruka, Common Slavic Asterisk Roka Old Church Slavonic Arka, Russian Ruka, Polish Reka, Czech Ruka Asterisk GALW Head, Lithuanian Galva, Old Prussian Galwo, Latvian Gal, VA, Latgalian Golva, Common Slavic Asterisk Golva Old Church Slavonic Glava, Russian Golova, Polish Gloa, Czech Lava Despite lexical developments exclusive to Balto-Slavic and otherwise showing evidence for a stage of common development, there are considerable differences between the vocabularies of Baltic and Slavic. Rozdowowski noted that every semantic field contains core vocabulary that is etymologically different between the two branches. Anderson prefers a dialect continuum model where the northernmost dialects developed into Baltic, in turn, the southernmost dialects developed into Slavic, with Slavic later absorbing any intermediate idioms during its expansion. Anderson thinks that different neighboring and substratum languages might have contributed to the differences in basic vocabulary. 
Topic. See also. List of Balto-Slavic languages. Corded Ware culture. International workshop on Balto-Slavic accentology. Topic. Notes. Topic. References. Barshell, Kozianka, Weber, eds. 1992, Indogermanisch, Baltisch und Slavisch, Colloquium in Zusamenerbi at MIT der Indogermanischen Gesellschaft in Jena, September 1989 in German, Munich, Otto Sagner, ISBN 3-87690-515-X Beeks, Robert Comparative Indo-European Linguistics, Amsterdam, John Benjamins, ISBN 90-272-2151-0 Europe, ISBN 1-55619-505-2 U.S. Kurta, Florin The Slavic Lingua Franca, Linguistic Notes of an Archaeologist Turned Historian. East Central Europe, L'Europe du Centre Est 31, 125-148 Fortson, Benjamin W. 2010, Indo-European Language and Culture, An Introduction 2nd ed., Malden, Massachusetts, Blackwell, ISBN 978-1-4051-8896-8 Gray, R. D., Atkinson, Q. D. Language tree divergence times support the Anatolian theory of Indo-European origin. Nature, 426, 6965, 435 to 439. Bibcode 2003 Natur.426, 435G. DOI 10.1038. Nature 02029. PMID 14647380. Holzer, Georg. 2001. Zur Lotgeschichte des Baltisch Slavischen Areals. Wiener Slavistisches Jarbuk in German. 47, 33 to 50. Holzer, Georg. 2002. Erslaisch. Enzyklopädie des Europäischen Ostens (PDF) in German. Klagenfurt, Wieser Verlag. Archived from the original PDF on the 27th of September 2007. Retrieved the 1st of October 2008. Holzer, Georg 2007, Historisch Grammatik des Krotischen. Einleitung und Lotgeschichte der Standardsprache in German, Frankfurt am Main, Peter Lang, ISBN 978-3-631-56119-5 Cortland, Frederick 1978, i.e., Palatovelars before resonance in Balto-Slavic PDF, Recent Developments in Historical Phonology, 237-243, archived from the original PDF on May 17, 2014 Cortland, Frederick 2009, Baltica and Balto-Slavica, Amsterdam, New York, Rodopi, ISBN 978-90-420-2652-0 O. Matasovic, Ranko 2005, Toward a Relative Chronology of the Earliest Baltic and Slavic Sound Changes PDF, Baltistica, 40 halves, archived from the original PDF on October 9, 2006 Matasovic, Ranko 2008, Poredbena Poviesna Grammatica Hrvatskoga Jizika in Croatian, Zagreb, Matica Hrvatska, ISBN 978-953-150-840-7 Novotna, Petra, Blazek, Václav 2007, Glottochronology and its Application to the Balto-Slavic Languages PDF, Baltistica, XLII 2, 185-210, archived from the original PDF on 31 October 2008 Olander, Thomas 2002, Det Baltislaviski Problem, Accentologene PDF in Danish, archived from the original PDF on 19 July 2011, retrieved 30 July 2010 Thomas Olander Hollander's master's thesis on the existence of Balto-Slavic genetic nodes solely on the basis of accentological evidence Hollander, Thomas 2009, Balto-Slavic accentual mobility, Berlin and New York, Mouton de Gruder, ISBN 978-3-11-020397-4 Stang, Christian 1957, Slavonic accentuation, Oslo, Universitätsvorlaget, ISBN 978-82-00-06078-9 Zemirany, Oswald 1957, 
The Problem of Balto Slav Unity, Kratilos, 2 97 123, Young, South, 2009, Balto Slavic Languages, Concise Encyclopedia of Languages of the World, ISBN 978 0 08 087774 7. Topic external links Balto Slavic Accentuation, by Cortland, a very idiosyncratic approach to Balto Slavic Accentuation, Trubachev O. Bernstein, 2005. Otrivka o Balto Uznoslavinsky Izoglosa. Srvnitelna Grammatika Slavanski Azikov in Russian, Moscow, Naka Bernstein and Trubachov on the Balto South Slavic Isoglosses. Biennial International Workshop on Balto Slavic Natural Language Processing.